Hello, welcome to GRTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time we upload new videos. In this video, we will discuss friction. Uh, this is a passport exam problem, similar to a passport exam problem. Okay, in this problem, okay, the problem deals with a man crossing uh, a short beam and then finding the location of the man when the beam starts to slide, as you can see in the GIF. Okay, so happening, we will find the position of the man, then the beam will start to slide. Okay, as always, for those reviewing for the board exam, I recommend pausing the video and solving the problem by yourself first so you can check your current understanding of this problem. Okay, so we have here a 120 kilogram man crosses the four meter long beam as shown in the figure. The coefficients of static friction at A and at B are given. At A is 0.4 and at B is 0.25. The beam weighs 50 kilograms and the angle of this inclined plane at A here is 30 degrees. All right, the first part is considering, considering the weight of the beam, determine the value of X when the beam starts to slide. Okay, the second part, neglecting the weight of the beam, data, determine the value of X, the same problem with Part one only, we are to consider the weight of the beam. And also in part three, uh, neglecting, ne neglecting the weight of the beam, compute the resultant reaction at B. So the first part, we neglect, uh, we consider the weight of the beam, the two and the third, part two and part three, is we will neglect the weight of the beam. All right, so let's start with uh, part one, considering the weight of the beam. Okay, what are the key points here? Okay, problems like this involving friction, the first thing that you, of course, you have to identify the forces acting. No? And of course, the most critical part here is to identify the direction of the friction. All right? So, first, the forces acting, considering the weight of the beam. So, here are the forces. First, the weight of the beam. So, the beam, the beam is 50 kilograms. 50 kilograms. So 50 times G, that's 490.5 newtons. And the man is 120 kilograms. So that will be 1,177.2 newtons. Okay? Then the reactions at the surfaces at A and at B. First, you get first the normal reaction. Unahin nyo yung normal muna. Mamaya na yung friction. So the normal reaction at A, let's call it NA, and the normal reaction at B, let's call it NB. Okay, next, the friction. And by the way, before we continue, uh, this problem deals with an impending motion. We will know it because the question here is the beam will start to slide. So meaning this is impending motion. So meaning the friction will be um, the friction force that we'll be using is the maximum available friction, the maximum available static friction. So mu max or uh, F max Latin is mu mu uh, mu s times n. Okay, for the friction, we have to know the direction of the motion. So for the friction at A, well obviously this beam will slide to the right going on this direction. And so friction is opposite to the direction of motion or the, to the tendency to move. So the friction at A should be going up because this is like going to this direction. So this is your uh, Fn or Fa. Okay, we will use the impending. Again, this is impending motion. Gagamitin natin yung maximum available friction. So this will be mu times n. The mu at A is 0.4, so mu n. Okay. And also at B. Well, of course, if this will slide to the right, then this will slide also to the right. So the friction here is going to the left. Okay. And any motion also. So we will use the maximum available friction. So that will be 0.25 times n. 
Now you might be wondering why am I saying maximum available friction? Kasi mayroong mga problem na friction involving pressure, friction, pero hindi siya impending motion. You cannot use this value if the motion is not impending. Well, in our review, we discussed that thoroughly. Huh? But anyway, most problems that you are solving deals with impending motion. So some students does not notice that. They will automatically use this for the friction. Huh? Not knowing na hindi pala lahat ganon. Okay. So we have now the reactions. Then we know the angle of this, of course, is uh, this one here is 30 degrees. And the angle here is also this one. The angle of this uh, 0.4 Na is 30 degrees to the horizontal. The Na is 30 degrees to the vertical. Be careful in uh, getting the angle. You might make an error, mistake on that. That's the worst that you will do. Nakamali ka dun sa angle na yan. Maraming nagkakamali dyan. Okay. So we have now the angles. Then, uh, okay. Notice here, how many unknowns do we have? We have three unknowns total. Okay, uh, dalawang forces, which are Na and B, pangalawa, pangatlo is the moment. Tignan nyo, ha? Okay, there are two forces, there are two unknown forces. So to solve, we can solve these two unknown forces by using the summation of forces horizontal and vertical. It will be enough to solve the reactions without solving X yet. So by summation of process, by using the equilibrium conditions, summation of process horizontal and vertical zero, we will solve the Na and the Nb already. And then the X can be solved by using moment. Okay. Kahit anong problem sa friction, yung involving like this, na? Because there will always be two unknowns, the third here will be distance. So masosolve natin yung mga reactions, even without solving the X first. Okay. Uh, consider this. Let's do first summation of process horizontal. Summation of process horizontal zero so that these two forces will not be involved. Alright? Ang may involved lang dito yung N. Ha? So tinan natin. Unahin natin yung Na to the right. Na sine of 30 degrees. Okay? And then the next, yung Na pa rin. Minus, to the left siya. Minus 0.4 Na cosine of 30 degrees. Another, minus 0.25 Na equals zero. Okay? Then, from that equation, ma-relate natin yung Na to Nb. Na is 1.628 Nb. So, we have one equation already. Oh, one more na lang. And that will be summation of process vertical equals zero. Okay? So, what will that be? Going up. Going up muna tayo. Na cosine of 30 degrees plus 0.4 Na sine of 30 degrees, all right? plus Nb going up. Okay? Minus, we will uh, consider the weight of the beam. Uh, we are in part one. Minus the weight of the beam and minus the weight of the man equals zero. Then that equation becomes like this. And finally, uh, here I just factored out, I combined the the Na's here, okay, the Na, cosine of 30 is 0.866 and the sine of 30 is 0.5. Kaya 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 becomes 0 0.2. Okay, and I factored out Na here and I substituted for Na the value of 1.628 Nb. Did you get this? All right, and here is the Nb, the other two uh, terms, transpose natin sa kabila. So 16677. Okay, then we can solve for the normal reaction at B and B and put that here, we can solve the normal reaction at A. Okay, so that's just what we need to solve the problem. Na? So now that we have the normal process already, then we are now ready to solve for the distance X. Of course, the third equation na pwede natin magamit is the moment. Moment na lang yung pwede natin gamitin. So, pumili ka whether you take moment about A or about B. That's your choice. Either way, we'll uh, do. But if I were to choose, I will choose A. Because if I will choose that one, the forces involved are these two vertical and this one. 
hindi na to may involve kasi ito is will pass through A. Well, if I will take moment about B, then apat yung may involve. Of course, the, these two and these two will be involved. Alright? So, it would be better to take moment about A. So, I mentioned the moment about point A0. So, we will have. Okay, guess so we need the moment arm. By the way, the moment arm of this is uh, one half of the length. This is two meters. Alright? So, unahin natin yung clockwise. So, we have 490.5 times 2. Okay, plus 1177.2. Uh, 1, the moment arm will be 4 minus x. This is for the man. Ano yung kanyang position? Alright? And then another NB. We already have NB. Minus 609.66 times 4. And that's equal to 0. Then, makuha natin yung x. Okay, so that's 2.76. So the answer here is letter D. Kuha nyo. I hope nakuha nyo. Okay, kung nakuha natin yan, mas madali na lang solving yung dalawa. The other two, neglecting the weight of the beam. It will now be easy. All you have to do is to remove this part here. Tanggalin mo lang yan, yung anything na may kinalaman doon sa weight ng beam, you will get the answer. Yeah, so maybe I can do this fast. Look, uh, first neglecting the weight of the beam. So when we neglect that, so wala na yung uh, wala na yung beam's weight jan. Okay, so ito na lang. The man na lang ang involved. So summation process horizontal zero. You will be using the same equation. Of course, you will get the same equation here. I will not uh, show na lang dito. So ito na yan. And summation of process vertical zero. The same equation except for this term. Okay? I hope you can follow. Wala na to. Yilang. Then the same process, factoring out, combining like terms, solving for NB, it will be 430.35. And your NA, substitute that here, is 700.61. Then once again, just like what we, how uh, we did it here, summation of moment about A0. Then we can solve for the value of x. I hope you can follow now. This is more difficult because this includes the weight of the beam. Ito kinuha lang natin yung weight ng beam. Right? And finally, <clears throat> uh, neglecting the weight of the beam, compute the resultant or the total reaction at B. Okay, the resultant or the total reaction at B, that will be the resultant of NB and the 0.25 NB. Ito yung friction natin. Then we will use Pythagorean theorem. All right? It will be NB. NB is... Uh, ah, sorry. This is the NB, not that one. 430.35 plus 0.25 NB. This is it. Square. Okay? Pythagorean theorem. Then we have your RB. Okay? And by the way, there is a formula. We can make a formula... Uh, for the reaction, for the total reaction involving normal and friction. If you can notice, this is RB. This is, again, RB. This is your mu. So if you write that as, uh, uh, sorry, NB, I'm sorry, NB, NB. NB squared, NB squared, we can factor it out. And what will be left inside the radical sign is 1 plus mu squared. So that the reaction can be written in this manner. The reaction is N times the quantity 1 plus mu squared. So in this case, if you're solving for RB, it will be NB times 1 plus mu B squared. If you are solving for RA, halimbawa, it will be RA. It will be NA times 1 plus 0.4 squared. Okay? So don't forget that. That is very helpful and it will save you a lot of time to solve the problem. Okay? Okay. Uh, by the way, I will show you another way to solve for this. So here, we were able to solve for the reactions using the analytical solution. We solved summation of process horizontal and vertical. Well, for those who, uh, who want a, a, a shorter version, but it's up to you if you like this one, you can use the, you can get the total reaction of these reactions at A and B in uh, direction. And then you can use the force polygon. Okay, consider this one. Okay. 
we know the coefficient of friction at A. That is point uh, 0.4. We can get the angle of friction, our tangent of the coefficient of friction. Same with B. The angle of friction uh, here is 14.04. So, ano ba yung angle of friction? That means that the total reaction at A, the angle of friction is the angle that the total reaction makes with the normal. So, if this is your RA, which we solve it, well, you can solve that value. Ito yung ating angle of friction, the angle of the total reaction from the normal. Okay? That is your 21.8. So, in other words, the angle of RA from the vertical will be 30 degrees minus 21.8. That is 8.2 degrees. All right? Ganon din dito sa NB. So, this is your RB. The angle of RB from NB is 14.04. Okay? Now, now take note. Take note. We have now four forces. Two vertical forces and the other two I incline. Okay? We can use force polygon. Though we have four forces here, but there are only three directions. The polygon that you will draw or you can draw is a triangle. By the way, uh, let's solve the lang, uh, part. Okay, let's solve part three wherein the weight of the beam is neglected. Right here. Let's do the force polygon. Unahin natin yung vertical force. Okay? This time, uh, I will not include this one. I will not include this one. Neglecting the weight of the beam. I will solve part three so that we can compare the answer later. So this is 1177.2. Uh, ito yung RB kanina, 1177.2 newtons. Right? Next, yung ating, uh, you can follow, it's up to you. You can follow RA after, after that and then RB. Okay? Or you can follow RB and then RA. It's up to you. I-follow natin yung RB. Ito yung RB natin. Ayan. So the angle of RB with the vertical is 14.04 degrees. That angle there. And next is your RA. Okay? So the angle of RA with the... Uh, vertical is 8.2 degrees. Itong angle na yan. So make sure to draw this polygon in head-to-tail connection. Ha? Tail head. Tail head. Tail head. Do not do it tail-to-tail -tail or head-to-head. -head. Okay. So knowing the angles, the two angles, we can solve the third angle because the angle of the triangles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So this angle is 180 degrees minus these two angles. So, 157.76 degrees. Ayos. Then, if you want to solve for RB, you can apply sine law. Alright? Uh, RB is a sine of 8.2 degrees as 1177.2 is a sine of 157.76 degrees. Then, makuha natin yung RB. The same answer kanina. Okay. So, well, this is your option. Nah, option. If you are, if you like this, then you can use that. Uh, it's up to you. Kung saan ka here, huh? uh, which one is best for you? By the way, if you will include the weight of the beam, just add the 490.5 here. You will get the RA and RB with the weight of the beam. You just add. In a way, the same naman yung direction nila. They are going down. You can combine them. You can combine that. Okay. So, yun. I hope you learned a lot from this uh, example. Okay, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, sa channel namin. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will, you will be notified every time we have uploads of new videos. Okay, thank you so much.